Hi guys, so I'm having an issue with my air conditioning system. It's low on gas and uh, here I want to show you how I have it set up because I'm going to fill up some gas in there. Um, as you can see, I have a scale right here. I'm going to zero it out and uh, I have the yellow hose coming from the 410A bottle and it comes in right in the center of this gauge and then I have my high pressure gauge which is the liquid line red hose going on the liquid line as you can see right here this is the high pressure and then I have my suction line which is the supposed to be the blue line this is the gas uh, that gets sucked in to your compressor so this is the blue line this connects to this side so <clears throat> over here I have a charger which is uh, uh, the quick charger you can use this to charge 410A. Um, now remember this uh, 410A needs to be, if your system is very low on gas, you need to top it off using the high side first to make sure you have enough and then at some point it's going to stop uh, taking gas, uh, taking liquid, liquid in. So then you have to charge it from a gas, gas side and then for you to charge it from the gas side you need this quick charger because uh, you don't want to be, if you're just going to be using it without this and if you try to charge it too fast, you may be uh, putting liquid in your compressor which is not good for your compressor. So this kind of limits that liquid, uh, kind of turn that liquid into gas and then charges the system. So right now my system is completely turned off. Um, over here I have my valves which are turned on. I already purged my line the way you purge your line is basically you connect your hoses and then you just loosen it up a little bit right from here which uh, and let the some of the air out right from here I did that from here as well um, the valve on the bottle is already open so I already have a good pressure coming in and then I loosen it up right here I let some of the air in this escape same thing from here so I already had purged my system so there's no air that will be going in uh, these are my pressure with the unit turned off and now I'm going to turn my unit on the issue that I'm having right now the unit turns on but the gas press pressure is so low that it uh, turns off and then it just go keeps going through the cycle so uh, this mainly happens because there's normally a limiter uh, and I'll show you guys where it's located so if you come here so here you can see that limiter right here and since mine is low on gas that cuts off the compressor and keep cutting it off and on so with that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just run my system and see what my pressures look like okay so I'm gonna turn my system on See how it's going down and down, and it already went below the freezing temperature, so it's, it's very low. So I'm gonna have to add gas in there, and you can see a little bit later my system is gonna turn off. So I'm gonna have to add a lot of gas for me to bring it at least to 40. I'm gonna go ahead and zero out my scale, and uh, this will give me an indication how much I'm gonna be filling in. And I'm going to go ahead and start filling it from the liquid side. Let's slow down. So I'm going to go ahead and keep filling it up. <clears throat> so right now, 0.87 pounds. Gonna hold on right here. You don't want to be doing it way too fast. You know, it's good to take it slow. Even though I'm doing it from the liquid side, don't rush in. Right now, I have about one pounds in. According to my meter is 1.2 pounds.
stop it there for like a little bit. Open it up a little bit more. I think at this point it's not going a whole lot. It's going in a little bit but very slow. So now I'm going to have to charge it from the vapor side because it's not taking much. And there you can see, still below 30. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, charge the unit more from the liquid side. The way you do it is you just do it little by little. So now you're charging it right from the suction side and you're going to feel this getting really cold. I don't see the compressor coming off again, which is a good sign. That means uh, the gas is uh, above that threshold. Okay, guys, so it took about four pounds of gas. You can see about 4.2 pounds. And uh, here are my pressure. You can see my temperature is like close to 40. It's a fixed orifice. It's not a TXV. Um, and this is these are my high side pressure. So I think I'm okay with this uh, temperature right here. It's about 38 or so. And uh, these are my high side pressure. So I think overall I'm happy with it. You know, you do have to measure the. Uh, up cooling and all that stuff but with a fixed orifice you know if you get your readings around there uh, this is a good eyeball part if you don't have time to do any of your uh, sub cooling method and all that stuff you know so I'm gonna go ahead and turn these off so the trick part is uh, you do want to definitely want to turn the red one off so I turn this one off you don't want to turn this off so just want to make sure this one is on because this the section line is the one where you're getting everything sucked into the system so with that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and open up the this side and start injecting everything so this now it's sucking up all the gas another thing you definitely want to do is uh, you want to make sure your bottle cap is completely turned off turn this so now it's sucking up everything in the line it's taking it in I'm gonna get you more closer to port. So now it's sucking up everything in the line. This way you're not wasting any of the thing that is left. You can see how, how this thing is coming down. Neutralizing. open this side up and then open this side up so now it takes everything from the right side in as well and of course I'm gonna do it like nice and slow and this side eventually is gonna come down because you, know, you do want everything right from here Okay, so everything is uh, from the line is sucked in and I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it. So that's it guys. Hopefully it helps you guys. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video.